This movie was released over 21 years ago June of 2003 I actually feel old because I remember hearing about the movie one year before it was even released to the world in 2002. I was ready I saw this movie twice in 2003. I enjoyed it even at 12 years old I thought the movie had its flaws like the making the hell too aggressive and toxic starring. Eric Benna, Jennifer Connelly, Sam Elliott, Josh Lucas, Nick Nold, Paul Kersey director. Ang Lee why did the hell cross the road to get to where the really big money is? Okay I don't mean to start this review off being cynical. I like the idea of comic adaptations and I've watched quite a few episodes of the Bill Bixby and Lou Friedno version of the Hulk in the past. I've even seen a couple of the animated Hulk TV shows, although I was never really into the Hulk comic. I'll stay with Batman and Justice League any day. But the Hulk movie, which doesn't follow the live-action TV show at all and is probably closer to the animated show, just seems like it's going through the motions. The directing by Ang Lee is quite tight, although nothing special and Jennifer Connelly, Nick Nold and Sam Elliott are all good but Eric Benna's version of Bruce Banner, the Hulk, could be a bit livelier, although admittedly he does have a pretty tough job, because whichever way you look at it he is going to be overshadowed by the CGI that is the Hulk. And while I'm on the subject of CGI, well it could be better in places. When you compare the CGI Hulk to the CGI characters Scooby-Doo and Kangaroo Jack, both completely different types of movie to Hulk I know, but both make CGI characters with live action, the Hulk is just not convincing in a number of scenes. This is especially apparent when the Hulk first starts appearing on screen, the movement seems jerky and falls a bit like the stop motion type giant monsters of yesteryear. Scenes with slower movement and close-ups are better but maybe we just get accustomed to the effects. Possibly it's the long build up to how the Hulk comes into existence but when you get to the Hulk in action I couldn't help but feel like the first two thirds of the film should have been compressed down in time leaving room to see how Banner lives with the Hulk but I guess they wanted to keep that for the sequel. Let's hope that will seem a bit 